Hello, this is Jan Beckers from Indigo Care. In this movie, I will be talking about the options and solutions offered within the current ICOL range, tackling today's changing demands on the healthcare market. It will be a new interpretation of current products as they have been installed in many countries worldwide and basically a result of our experience of the last year and a half. Uh, the idea is to offer a, a touch-free environment for both staff and residents and patients in order to uh, enhance the efficiency of service, but especially also, of course, to uh, increase the safety and security of staff members and to prevent uh, any other outbreaks and virus uh, control within uh, the hospitals and care institutions. A first option are, of course, speech solutions. Uh, in our current ICOL range, we have the SIP touch units and the SIP units without uh, a touch screen. Very logically, the patient makes a call. The nurse receives that call on her mobile or wired speech solution and can react accordingly. She dials one touch reply uh, with or without hands-free features directly into that room and can find out the reason of the call immediately without prior entry of the room. And as such, uh, avoid again physical contact between staff and patient and increase A, efficiency, and B, uh, staff and patient security and safety. Uh, in our range, as I said, we have the touch units, we have the non-touch units, uh, we have the wired desktop stations, uh, and recently we added also the multimedia handset, the pillow speaker. These speech devices can be completely standalone, peer-to-peer -peer communication, or can be integrated in an existing telephone solution. Our SIP units would be or will be uh, registered as SIP extensions on the PBX. Uh, and as such, you can have a combination of our speech solutions, the full two-way uh, communication, or it can be part of a bigger telephony installation. On the units that we have, uh, with a display, of course, uh, there can be a connectivity with standard IP cameras as well, increasing efficiency. Patient makes a call, nurse receives the call, where the call comes from, type of call, uh, can dial directly into the room um, and even see uh, to assess the situation and react accordingly. As such, the, uh, the risk of contamination is reduced dramatically the efficiency of staff is increased dramatically, but above all, in the current uh, COVID situations, uh, this is also a way to reduce uh, contaminations inside of the institution and to avoid further infest, uh, infestations. Another option towards a more touch-free environment are our RFID buttons. The RFID can be used in combination with our SIP units. As you can see below, uh, it's a SIP unit in combination with RFID, where we're gonna deactivate the green button. So calls uh, can only be swiped away with the RFID card, or it can be done uh, via our local bus. Uh, using the most common protocols, such as uh, MyFair, you swipe the card uh, over a button and the call the nurse is present and the call is cancelled as such the nurse doesn't need to go too close to the patient but above all she doesn't need to physically touch anything inside of the patient room the rfid uh, is offer a but b we offer also the i buttons same principle and not touch free but also an option to ensure um, nurse identification is the option to have a unique pin code for the nurses on the touch units to cancel a call. These solutions can be combined with our VeriPass software. The VeriPass software is a software where you can program that this card can be used either for a basic access control to open the door of the care institution, 
but can also be used to say which nurse uh, is allowed to cancel a call inside of a patient room. It can also be a combination of both. So nurse A with her card, she can answer the bill, enter the building in the morning, but cannot uh, delete a call. Nurse B can enter the building in the morning and is allowed to cancel a call in the patient room. All is uh, locked as such in our novel lock, so you can see who made a call, when he made a call, when the nurse came, and which nurse came uh, to the patient aid. So it's a very touch-free environment, again, increasing uh, staff uh, safety and reducing, reducing the uh, chances of uh, contaminations. Another option, another solution that we offer via the iCall uh, devices is our local bus acoustic call unit. So what's in a name? Uh, the patient or the resident doesn't need to push any button anymore. Um, he can uh, just raise a call and ask for help by making a sound. The sound um, is determined by the length and the volume of the sound uh, to get a call activated and forwarded to a dedicated nurse. So with this solution, it's not only the staff that doesn't need to touch anything anymore using speech solutions, using uh, RFID, MyFair solutions, but also the residents, they can have a completely touch-free environment. Uh, the local bus units, uh, the acoustic call units, as you see them here, they uh, are uh, part of our standard logical local bus uh, cabling. So on the very, very fle flexible cabling and can be programmed again individually. So if you only want to have acoustical uh, supervision uh, and aid via uh, these units in room 1, 7 and 12, it can be programmed as such. And also the parameters uh, to raise this call uh, can be uh, tailor-made uh, according to the end user's uh, needs. So in this case, again, touching less, less contact in general um, is creating a safer environment for both staff and patients. And as such, again, we try to reduce the contamination uh, and the infectations and stress levels in hospitals and care homes. Uh, another option um, is to offer wireless devices. So just like the speech solutions, um, the wireless devices uh, will help you um, to avoid contact between staff and patients. Um, so if you have, for example, the um, motion detection, the motion sensors, uh, when a patient moves, uh, when a patient gets out of bed, um, the room goes into an uh, automatic alarm and the staff can uh, react accordingly. It can be um, by going to the room, but it can also again be via the speech units or if you have the zip touch units. On the zip touch, you can, for example, um, connect with any standard IP camera devices. So the patient um, somehow makes a call and the staff can talk uh, remotely and directly to the individual patient and can also see uh, what is happening in that individual room. All these um, wireless devices, they go to our local bus receiver and that receiver, again, is installed on our flexible cabling and can be programmed uh, very simply, very easily. Uh, in general, keep in mind, you don't need a receiver per room. Um, you can have two or three receivers per floor, uh, but the wireless devices, they can be programmed individually and tied to a room uh, and it's done easily via a zip touch unit in the room or in the nurse station uh, via the learn mode. So uh, a nurse or a staff member without big technical background, she can program these wireless devices completely as she needs them. And on the final page, I'd like to uh, mention again uh, the Netrix and the Novilog. So the Netrix is an optional gateway we offer 
as an easy way to integrate integrate with third parties. So as we mentioned before, you can have an IP camera added onto our SIP touch units. You can add intercom solutions via our SIP units. And of course, you can register all our uh, SIP units as SIP uh, extensions on any kind of PBX. The net Netflix is ne literally the door of our house. So if you want to integrate something like fire alarm and show it on our devices, or if you want to send out uh, devices outside of our peer-to-peer -peer environment, so if you want to use third-party telephony solutions, that's when the Netflix uh, comes in as a cross point uh, or a gateway with, between iCall and uh, third-party solutions. It's up to you to decide whether it's relevant and what you want to add. Where do you have experience? Uh, what makes sense to offer uh, as a joint package uh, in your way to become a one-stop shop? A second optional uh, solution is the Novilog. So the Novilog is uh, the logging, the software of uh, all events. So it will show you who made a call, when he made a call, when the nurse came, which nurse came, uh, what the nurse did in the room, when she left again. Everything is logged in there. It's unlimited in time. Um, and it's um, not important the size of the institution. So if it's a very big institution with several wings, for example, still it can be managed with one single uh, novella. Um, and it's browser-based. So you have remote access to the Novilog reports uh, of everything that has happened and to make uh, your solution even more efficient. Uh, in the case of the current uh, COVID um, situation, you could also use the Novilog as a kind of a contact tracing. So you can see, you can ask uh, the reports and check the reports to see um, when a person, a resident or a patient was tested positive for COVID, you can see with whom uh, he was in contact. Um, if you use the RFID, you can see the name of the nurse or, or the staff member uh, and when it happened, so you can react accordingly. As such, uh, we increase again the efficiency of the institution uh, and of course uh, add the, uh, the staff safety as well. I added two small remarks to uh, finalize this little movie. Uh, the first one is to remember you about our eight different ICOL handsets. So the multimedia handset, the pillow speaker we discussed uh, earlier in this movie. It's uh, a two-way speech communication device, uh, including uh, all the settings for um, hospitality TV. Um, volume, uh, channels uh, management, all these kind of things. But of course, also, for example, lights management, uh, call for a uh, service, not for a nurse, not only for a nurse, a nurse but also, for example, for a uh, service. Uh, next to the pillow speaker, we have seven other uh, handsets uh, with a magnetic connection uh, or minute-in connection. Uh, and uh, including uh, service buttons, light management, blind management, all these kind of things, completely available. Very important is they are all IP67 rated, so they can be uh, emerged completely underwater or in liquid, uh, disinfectant liquid. Uh, and as such, you can uh, use the same handsets for different patients because they're easy to clean and disinfect. And the last remark is because every now and then we get the requests for anti-bacterial um, uh, coated buttons. Uh, the question makes sense because we are in a highly uh, high security uh, environment. In, within the healthcare market, everything logically needs to be as clean as possible. Uh, but antibacterial coatings, uh, it's, it's a difficult um, issue. So um, we did, uh, as Indigo Care, as a company, we did some tests of our own uh, using silver ions, uh, even test, uh, tests checked on a shark skin, so we went pretty far. Uh, but also, me trying to be as objective as possible, 
Uh, I have here the results of the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, uh, which states that uh, it has not found any evidence to suggest that antimicrobial coating offer any enhanced protection from the spread of bacteria and germs, and that proper cleaning and hand, hand washing are still the best ways to prevent uh, infection. Um, so it has been proven um, that antimicrobial coatings create an invisible barrier that inhibits bacterial growth on surfaces for over 90 days and is effective up to 15 weeks. So if this, uh, the features of these antibacterial coatings um, disappear uh, after at the latest 15 weeks, what is the point? What is the point of having the extra costs uh, of production uh, when it basically doesn't make much sense? Also, I like to focus on relevancy and focus. Um, so again, what's the point to have this uh, coated buttons when everything else inside of the patient room uh, doesn't have this coating? You have the light switches, you have the toilet seat, you have the bed bars, all these kind of things. Uh, they are touched by the resident and the patient as well. They do not have this coated coating, which loses its values anyways. So what is the point? So my question is, uh, or my point here is, uh, make it relevant and logic. Uh, and this is our reply to uh, our objective uh, and studies proved um, reply to this antibacterial coating issues. So very important, everything is available, everything is uh, tested, everything is approved, everything has been installed in many countries worldwide. So feel free, as usual, we are only one phone call, one email away. Uh, just drop us all your questions, uh, drop us all your ideas, everything's always welcome. Um, and just stay in contact and get in contact. Thank you, talk to you soon, bye-bye.